Hello, I'm Sanjana Gupta, working as a marketing coordinator with FACT. Today I'll be interacting with a highly skilled author, Nathan Lifting, who has more than six years of experience in IT. He started working in 2016 with Zabbix and now works for open source ICT solutions in Netherlands as a Zabbix trainer and consultant. He, along with his co-author, Brian Van Bakel, has written a book on Zabbix 5 and I'll be asking him questions on the topics that he has written, the blogs that he follows and the challenges that he has faced. Hi, my name is Nathan Lifting, co-author of the latest book, Zabbix 5 IT Infrastructure Monitoring. So, hi Nathan. Firstly, tell me what is Zabbix and who should be familiar with this topic? Zabbix is an open source monitoring product developed by Zabbix CI in Latvia. The product is developed to be the ultimate enterprise monitoring solution, as its aim is to be able to monitor almost anything. Besides monitoring almost everything, as an open source solution, it's free and available to all. Okay, great. So can you share any blogs or tech journals related to Zabbix and how do you keep yourself up to date on this topic? Definitely. So the Zabbix blog is your main source of information when it comes to articles related to both beginner and advanced Zabbix configuration. It's also a great idea to join the Telegram group and the Zabbix subreddit if you want to have more in-depth discussions or you just need help in general. Wow, I'm sure this information is useful for the audience who are listening. So Nathan, uh, how was your journey as an author with Pat? Did you face any challenges? As this was the first publication for Brian and I, we had a lot of figuring out to do in terms of guidelines and setup. But once we got up to speed, I feel like we were able to make some real progress. And together with Pax's skilled team, we were able to put out a quality book that can help out a lot of Zabbix users. That's good to hear. Since you're authoring a book for the first time, how do you feel that your book is finally out in the market? Well, I'm very excited. It was a long journey that took up a lot of my time. But I feel like we were able to put some of the most important topics down into the book and the end result is what's most important to me. So we put out a book for an open source community that can really help you kickstart your service knowledge or take it to the next level. That's wonderful. So my last question to you is, would you like to give any tips to the aspiring authors and how do you plan and prioritize your work along with the writing? Like, how do you balance both the tasks? So personally, I'm a do-it-when-you're-ready type of writer. Inspiration comes and goes, and you can't write a book without some good inspiration. So sit down at some days, see if you can get some good stuff down on paper, and if not, just move on to the next day. Once the juices start flowing, it's easy to write a whole chapter in like a day or two. Combined with some amazing technical implementations from Brian, myself, and even the community, I think we've been able to put together a great book. The open source service community is what drives the product, and people in that community putting out articles, starting discussions, or even writing a book like us is what makes that community thrive. It was so amazing to know how you manage your tasks and how you prioritize your work. So Nathan, thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all the best for your book. Thank you.